hello guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time on my channel my name is larry if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for always coming back today's video is about this look yes this very look so if you have not subscribed can you subscribe down below click on notification bell to get notified whenever i upload a new video and please kindly share my video if you can so let's get started one two three fuck it my darling i love you 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 yeah so as usual i'm using my pineapple cosmetics loose powder in the shade ivory to set my brows now I'm using my spoolie brush to brush my hair upwards as you can see my brows are kind of trimmed a little so you'll be seeing changes in my brow game as well yeah so i'm drawing a line underneath my natural brow the pencil is being sharpened i mean very tiny making the line very faint yeah i hope you guys can see what i'm doing yes so now i'm just filling it in with lighter strokes and if i didn't mention my brow pencil is from davis number three brow pencil yes i'm going in with my spoolie brush again to kind of brush everything into place yeah so my concealer as always is floma cosmetics full coverage concealer in the shade dark i'm using that to clean my brows as well as use it as my eyeshadow base So now I'm blending it with a fluffy brush. I'm blending everything out with a fluffy brush, just like so. So I'll be using the Zikel palette, powder palette. I'm using the darker shade in the palette as an eyeshadow. Yes, I'm using the powder palette as an eyeshadow, whatever. So I went back with my Beauty Glaze Gorgeous Me palette. I'm going in with this darker shade on top of the first dark shade i use so now i'm kind of gently bringing that eyeshadow in the corners of my eye i mean the product on the brush is less now so i'm bringing that i'm using this orange shade it's a light orange shade from the gorgeous me palette yeah to blend in the marcation and i'm now going in with a very lighter shade to highlight my brow bone yes i hope you guys are following so i'm not cutting my crease i'm using this concealer again to kind of give me a base so that my lid shade will kind of pop yes so my lid shade is this gorgeous gold color the gold gold yellowish <laughs> from the gorgeous me palette yeah so i'm kind of blending that all over the inner corners of my eye and i'll be going back with the first shade to kind of blend any demarcation for my foundation i'll be using three foundation fit me in the shade 360 and nyx in the shade chestnut and oh i've forgotten the last black opal stick foundation in the shade i've forgotten the shade but i'll leave it down in the description box yes i don't know why i kind of happened to mix three foundations which is so rare of me yeah it's very rare of me i don't usually mix foundations but we have to change some things as we go so please if you have not subscribed can you subscribe down below click on the notification bell to get notified i mean share my content it's been a while let's grow 
Hmm. Yeah, so to highlight, I'll be using the BH Cosmetics Concealer Palette to highlight my under eye, the bridge of my nose, my forehead. But I first of all started blending from the outer side to the inner part of my eye, if that makes sense. Yes. So please, if you have not subscribed, I mean subscribe, comment, like, share, let's get engaged. Comment down below what you think about this look as well as, I mean, I made some little changes in my editing. What do you guys think about it? What do you guys think about it? Yeah, just comment down below. So to contour, I'll be using the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation in the shade Ebony to contour. And I use a very tiny, I mean little amount of the product, very, very little. Because I'll be doing powder contouring and I don't, I'm trying to minimize my contouring, if that makes sense. Yes, I'm going on from lighter. So now I'm going in with my beauty blender to further kind of blend everything down. Just kind of blend it again for a flawless finish. I'm going ahead to blend, I mean to contour my nose. I'm actually not using any product. The leftover product on the brush is what I'm using. So to set the places where I highlighted, I'm using the Froma Cosmetics loose powder in the shade bronze sand and light sand. I'm mixing both two to set the places where I highlighted. That's the my under eye, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and my chin. So I'm using another powder from the Zikiel powder palette to set the rest of my face as well as to kind of set the places where I contoured. I'm, I'll be using darker shade to set the places where I contoured. And so now I'm setting the places where I contoured. Yes.
Yeah, so I'll be using the powder I used to set the rest of my face to do reverse contouring on my nose. I mean reverse contour on my nose. My blush is from the Cagdua blush and I'm using my beauty blender in applying this. Yes. I want him with lighter products. I mean I was so gentle and now just dusting off any excess product on my face just like so and my liner is from iman iman wherever <laughs> please if you have not subscribed can you subscribe down below click on the notification bell to get notified whenever i upload a new video i mean get notified whenever i upload a new video And I'm using a gel liner from Minister on my waterline. Yeah, so I'm just applying my lashes just like so. And remember to press, I mean, press your lashes. Is it pressed? Whatever. <laughs> yeah, you have to press it so that it will blend with your forces. Your natural lashes will just blend with your forces if that makes sense for my highlights i'm using this makeup revolution sugar 2 blush palettes yes that's what i'm using and i'm using a little on my cubit bone the bridge of my nose mm, whatever whatever yeah to highlight my brow bone as well yeah this is one of my favorite parts when it comes to doing makeup highlighting i love it So to further curl my natural lashes with my forces as well as my bottom lashes, I'll be using the Essence Lash Mascara. <coughs> Excuse me, Lash Mascara to I mean blend my forces with my natural lashes. Yes, for my lips, I'll be using that same pencil I used earlier on on my brows, which is the Davis Number no. Three pencil yes to outline my lips just like i'm doing yes and i'll be using this neon nude lipstick i've forgotten the brown but i'll leave it down the description bar yes now i'm just blending it together i mean blending it with the lip pencil i used earlier on don't want any demarcation and the lip this particular lipstick is matte so you have to be fast and i'm using the absolute lip gloss on top to give me some glossy effect yes i mean glossy glossy effect please on this note if you have not subscribed kindly subscribe comment like share yes comment like share on your status facebook instagram all share please so to further conceal my lips if that makes sense i'll be using the elegant pro concealer in the shade espresso in doing that and i'll be using my beauty blender to blend everything seamlessly yes 
and i use a little bit of highlight on my cubit bone now i'm setting everything with my kiss beauty setting spray voila guys this is our final look so if you have not subscribed what are you waiting for subscribe comment like i mean share share help your sister out yeah that's it for today's look that's it for today's look oh of late i've been filming continuously but i'm having problem with uploading my internet connection is so 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 bad but until we meet again stay blessed stay safe bye